Hello, my fiery Leos. Welcome to my channel. It's a new channel. So I'm hoping that you find a comfortable space here where you can get some insight and some know-how for the times to come. And I look forward to interacting with everybody. And I hope that this reading resonates with you. And if it does, fantastic. Take it, own it. If it, does, if it doesn't all resonate with you, take what what you did resonate with and then leave the rest of it. So let's get started, shall we? All right, Leo, this is your Yuletide winter solstice. I keep tripping over that word today. Winter solstice 2020 reading. And let's take a look at the bottom half of your card. It's going to tell you where you've been in 2020 and the top half will tell you where you're going in 2021. So hopefully, like I said, that this you're going to find some value in this reading. So let's get started, shall we? Let's take a look at our bottom three cards. We have the reversed moon, we have the five of wands, and we have the three of pentacles. So in our first position, this, is, this talks about the, you know, how you processed or how you handled or how you grew during, you know, 2020, this hindsight year, this pandemic year, this shit show year, if you will. And with the reversed moon, you know, there were a lot of, there were a lot of truths that came out for you. Um, secrets that may have been hidden were revealed to you. Um, you, you ended up finding a deeper sense of purpose while you were in quarantine. Um, maybe you started to unpack and process some of your traumas. Maybe you did a little bit of shadow work during this time. Uh, you delved deep into those, those subconscious issues and really worked through them. You worked hard. Um, this was definitely a time for the ruling, you know, Leo with its sun energy. It, you, you went internal. You took, you took a lot of time for yourself, self-reflection. Um, you worked on those inner struggles really, really hard. On the external, you know, you might have been showing people that you, that you were doing this, this really hard work. So they may have noticed and that might have caused a little bone of contention for some people, for some of the people in your in your inner circle, in your world. Um, maybe you adopting your new truth and processing out a new truth did not settle well with them and it caused some conflict. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that conflict was bad. It just means that it was conflict. It had to be worked through. There was that, that fire energy had to be put somewhere. And so you may have been fighting on the, the outside with what you were struggling with on the inside. So what you, were, what you were working to break through here and realizing those truths and realizing those struggles or real, you know, coming to that self-actualization, it might have turned onto somebody else in the outside, in your outside world. So this may have been a partnership that started to break down. It might have been a marriage that started to break down. Maybe there was conflict within your career. Maybe there was conflict within your interpersonal relationships. But there was some kind of conflict that you, that was happening on the outside. And you, but you handled it. You stood your ground. You you know weren't a pushover. You you bickered bickered and quarreled if necessary. But you tried to, you know you tried really hard to maintain. Um, the internal work that you were doing. You were trying to utilize it to push it forward, to move it forward. And the lesson that you learned from 2020 going into 2021 is that there has to be some kind of balance whenever you're going to do the really hard work, when you're going to do the hard work and you're going to have the, the struggle and the conflict sometimes, it's going to come to a point where you're going to start seeing the accolades and you're going to start seeing the praise and you're going to start seeing the recognition for the fruits of your labor, if you will. And... It's also a, a blending of like your mind, your body, and your spirit. And I think in this in these past six to nine months, this is what you've been experiencing. You know, as you did the hard work internally, and it started to, you know, possibly conflict with your outside, with your outside circle. All it did was help you grow. It wasn't anything negative that was going to hinder you as a person. Because sometimes conflict is necessary. Sometimes we have to face demons. Sometimes we have to battle our, you know, battle our demons. And sometimes those demons are the people that we are with, you know, cutting out the toxic, especially if that's what you realized is that you had a lot of toxic individuals in your life and it was time to cut them out. That's just going to help you grow even more. 
okay? So what are you leaving behind? So you're leaving behind, um, like, despondency. You're leaving behind um, an impoverished sense of self. You're, you're leaving behind this feeling of, like, emptiness and dissatisfaction and disillusionment. Um, I also think it's, it's a thing where you're leaving behind a sense of entitlement for some of you that like, you know, you, you had everything or, you know, so you thought you had everything going into 2020 and 2020 might've, you know, kicked you in the ass a little bit. And this is just giving you the, the push that you don't have to rely on the material. You don't have to rely on material possessions. You, although they are successful and although there is growth and potential, that's something, not something that you should consistently rely on because as soon as you get it or as quickly as you get it, that's as quickly as it could be gone. And so this card is usually, you know, significant when it's in the reversal. It's significant of a new hope or, you know, a new financial status or a new educational opportunity that is starting to grow and to develop. But you wouldn't want to leave those things behind. Those are not things that you would want to leave behind. Any possible new growth you wouldn't want to leave behind. But you would want to leave behind the entitlement that comes with it. So if you got a raise in 2020, you know, where you would normally be like broadcasting that all over the place, that's not something you would want to do in a, in a time period where friends and family are struggling for financial security. So you're leaving behind that, oh, look at how great I am. Look at how look at how awesome I'm doing in my job. Like you're you're leaving all of that how dare I say cockiness or pridefulness. You're leaving all of that behind and you're you're developing a new growth pattern. So what are you going to take with you? What new path are you going to be on? The 10 of swords. Some people look at the 10 of swords and they're like, "Oh my good god, the 10 of swords, you know, total complete rock bottom." you know, you're, you're, you're stuck. You can't, you can't move, but I don't, I don't see it that way in this position because there's an illuminated light. So I want to say that this is like everything that you had known, all of those old ideals that you had, all of the different perspectives that you had are finally, after you've done all of this internal work and all these truths came out and fallacies were lifted and illusions were lifted and you could like pick and pull things apart, you started to slowly pull each one of these swords out of your back, the things that were hindering you, the things that maybe had you at a rock bottom status where you didn't think you were going to be able to level up or that you were going to be able to move forward because you were being hindered and held down by them. It just, it just kind of like these two in conjunction with each other, just sort of give the Leo that sense of I will. You know, your will grew. So I think you're going to be taking with you on this new path, this new focus for 2021. I think you're going to be taking with you, you know, knowledge that was gained from hardships and struggles that you experienced over the course of 2020. So these external conflicts and external struggles that you were facing throughout the course of the year, you're taking, you're taking that knowledge and that understanding with you when you move forward. So that's... That's fantastic. At least I think so. And right from there, you get the Ten of Pentacles. So, okay, so you had the conflicts. You did the work. You had the conflicts. You started to see some growth. And within the next six to, you know, six months or three months when we hit the spring equinox or the vernal equinox, and then when we come upon summer solstice, I think you're going to start seeing that this legacy has been established for you. Um the, the rewards will be there. There will be a general sense of growth. There was a feeling of achievement, of attainment. It's, you know, that highest level. You've got the, you've, you've got the wealth, quote unquote, the wealth in whatever capacity that is, whether it's doing the really hard work in therapy and coming out a better person, whether it's struggling with an addiction and then, and then, con you know, conquering that addiction and working to get through that addiction one day at a time. And, and finding success in that. It could be graduating, getting a new degree, um, getting an advancement in your career. But the conflicts that you struggled with throughout the course of the year all lead to this outcome that things are better in the end. You know, things are going to get there. That Ten of Pentacles energy, 
that totally, you know, grounded, you grew it, you stabilized it, you fostered it, you know, you nurtured it, you cared for it. You really, really did the work that it reached you at a level that is prosperous. Oops, I'm bumping cards out of the way. And so with that, we get our Oracle message, which is shape-shifting. And the shapeshifter, that's exactly what they do. They, they take, it's almost like alchemy, if you will, you know, trans, the transmuting of energy, transmuting of what is myth and to, into a, something of a magical life. So taking what, you know, those old perceived notions and changing them into something that is going to propagate new magic in your life. And it's going to give new structure and new meaning to your life. And I see this as a great Yuletide reading for you guys. It's just the, the, the potential is endless. Knowing your truth, owning your truth, understanding that, you know, yeah, I might have been down in the dumps. I might, my ass might have been kicked a couple times and I might have, you know, had to go through some internal and external struggle. It's only helping me grow and recreate the life that I want to create. And that's what I see coming for Leo in the next three to six months. It's looking good for y'all. And I hope that you resonate with some of these messages. So if you enjoyed this reading and you want to come back for another one or you want to, you know, see what else and what other kind of messages I give to you, go ahead, like the video. You can subscribe to my channel. You can hit the little bell and get notified when I upload a video. I'm going to be uploading, you know, every, like relatively frequently. And I hope that you got something out of this. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. So I just like to read cards. And I hope you liked the cards that I laid out for you, Leo. So please take what resonated, leave the rest behind. And I hope you have a great solstice. And I will see you again in another video. Bye.